Oh, look, Antonio Brown is trending. Oh, Antonio Brown is trending. Good evening and welcome to Open Mic. We like to start things off with a few hot takes on news stories that you won't find anywhere else. Let's start things off right here in the D.C. area where Metro riders won't have to deal with reduced service to the blue, orange and silver lines after an agreement was made with the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission to avert disruptions. Now, this comes after the safety commission that regulates Metro originally gave them a safety order that would have forced WMATA to sideline about 50 train operators. But just last evening, they said they'll give them an extra week to update training. So Metro operators were going to just ruin everybody's commute all because they didn't do some training. I do know one thing. They better finish that training right now. They're going to be public enemy number one in D.C. if they don't. They'll jump way ahead of uh, meter mage, tow truck drivers, and DMV employees. And the Washington Nationals. Just you wait till the spring kicks off. I do want to thank the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission for cutting them some slack and granting extra time to get things done. Commuters appreciate it. Once again, if you're a Metro train operator and you ain't got your training done, get on it. Now look. I'm not going to act like I've never been late finishing work training. In fact, if you work here, you have no good authority. I'm always last to finish work training. But I'm not operating a giant steel machine responsible for the lives of thousands of people. That is way different. Y'all better finish that training. Let's stay in D.C. for this next story. The Smithsonian National Zoo asked people to show love to their Komodo dragons, Onyx and Murph as yesterday was Dragon Appreciation Day, issuing a tweet that reads, Today is Appreciate a Dragon Day, so let's show some love to our Komodo dragon friends. Oh, you know Reese loves the animals. Although these dragons don't breathe fire, they do have an effective tool for taking down their prey. The outer curve of their teeth is smooth, while the inner curve is serrated, just like a knife. Who needs to breathe fire when your teeth are like built-in Rambo knives? They actually buried the lead, by the way, a bit by not mentioning Komodo dragons have venom and bacteria in their saliva that can kill their prey if their murder teeth don't get the job done. Once again, breathing fire is pretty cool, but a little overrated. What good is killing your prey with fire if the only option is well done? That's no way to live. The hashtag appreciate a Dragon Day was popular on social media, so it looks like Murph and Onyx may have found some admirers, which, by the way, is awesome. What's more awesome is the National Zoo is not a petting zoo. You can appreciate their Komodo dragon safely from a distance behind the glass. And believe you me, I'm going to check out Onyx and Murph, get my time, and check out the National Zoo starting probably like February. I chose this next story because I know how much This area loves seafood. New research has shown that eating one freshwater fish from a river or lake in the United States is the equivalent of drinking a month's worth of water contaminated with toxins called PFAS. The EPA says there's evidence PFAS pose severe health risks, cancer, thyroid and immunity problems, low infant birth weights, but the agency does not regulate them. Man, today's episode came with a science lesson. I don't like this at all. You mean to tell me that I could sleep with the fishes if I eat too many fishes? Come on, man. If this means I have to give up seafood, then I'm ready for global warning to take us all out. I don't want to live in a world without grilled salmon. According to the study, the total PFAS level in the freshwater fish was 278 times higher than that of commercially sold fish. So if you're fishing on the Potomac or Rappahannock, now's a good time to start practicing catch and release. It looks like commercially sold fish are okay for now, but keep an eye on things. A couple years ago, if you would have told me that scientists would say fish from our rivers are as bad as the three-eyed one on The Simpsons, I'd have laughed in your face. Turns out river fish, in fact, are delicious little Trojan horses with gills. All thanks to pollution. We need Greta Thunberg now more than ever. She's saving the planet, and she took down Andrew Tate in a single tweet. She's our only hope. Let's head to Missouri for this last story. Lawmakers on Wednesday adopted a new dress code in the Missouri State House 
that requires women to keep their shoulders covered. Yeah, that's not weird or repressive at all. How did a whole group of adults think this was a good idea in the year of our Lord 2023? If you can't handle seeing an exposed shoulder, that's a you problem. And how could you be there with all that we have seen on the internet and on our phones? How? The Missouri House has 116 men, by the way, and 43 women. And the House majority is held by Republicans with 111 Republicans and 52 Democrats. And even for the GOP, this is a weird flex. For a group that proposes to be against radical Islam, this move would make the Taliban uncomfortable. Conservatives want to bear arms, but won't let women bear arms. Like, how are you going to make people cover up in the show me state? This is wild. It is foolishness. And to all the men who voted for this, remember, women have very long memories. Y'all better hope they never get a majority vote. They're going to outlaw sports, Rogaine, and Viagra on day one. Y'all might want to reconsider this one. My favorite story? the Komodo Dragons because I didn't know they had built-in steak night teeth. Shout out to them.